What is up guys, Saragoth here and today I'm bringing you guys a game of Domination on Underground where I'm using the MP7 with Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker Pro. Of course I have the Portable Radar and, what is it, Frag Grenades on. Uh, my MP7 is silent so that I can, you know, move around the map stealthily without being picked up on the radar. And the Portable Radar is very helpful just for the reason of, uh, I put it down over here I believe on the ground just so that I know if I'm getting flanked or if the spawn switch. Uh, I'm able to determine where the enemy team is and be able to take them out. Now don't think that just because I have a portable radar on that I'm going to be camping. Oh no, absolutely not. I don't like camping. Um, as I've been playing this game more, I've realized that camping is bad and it doesn't make the game fun. So in this game I'm purely running around and I end up getting a crazy score, 59 and 8. Uh, I get my pave low like one, only once, but... All in all, it's a really solid game for me. Uh, this is the first game that I've actually ever recorded not in theater mode, ironically enough. I've been, I've been trying to get a lot more gameplays recently. I know I haven't been putting up a lot of videos, but it's all of that is finally over. I'm able to put up a lot of videos now. And today I have a very special video for you, get, for you guys. So it's unlucky that I got taken out there. I would have had a, probably a 60 or 70 kill game if I didn't get taken out there. But hey, you know what? Whatever. I get a daily challenge for the Predator Missile. Um... So, like I was saying, uh, with the portable radar, I just want to finish on this thought that I'm going to explain the title of this video. Uh, so, the portable radar is really for if the spawn switch, I'm not using it because I need to cover a flank or anything because I'm constantly moving around. I'm more so using it for the fact of if I'm rushing around, I'll put it down in a spot. So, if I'm coming back in that same area, if I'm doubling back, so to speak, then I'll know if there's guys that have spawned behind me or anything like that. So, today I have an actually interesting video for you guys. Um... The title of this video is How to Tell If You Are Gay. And I am on the website called quizrocket.com slash gay dash quiz. And I thought this would be a rather funny video. You know, me taking this, it might, might these questions are kind of, you know, uh, flamboyant to say the least. And it might be interesting to see what my, what my responses are to these questions that are very out there. So it says, the gay test. Hey, excuse me, cough. Hey, been called ma'am a few too many times at the grocery store lately. Think you might want to take it to the next level with your fishing friend Larry? Well, be confused no more. This fun little quiz will help you figure out which team you should be playing for. It's the gay quiz. Are you a woman? Not just a queen. You should take the lesbian quiz instead. Oh, huh, that's funny. Okay. So, first question. When you hug your male friends, you are crying, are usually naked, feel uncomfortable, have just scored a touchdown, are hoping to score a touchdown. Um... I, I don't really have a problem with hugging my male friends, but I'm definitely not crying naked or uncomfortable. Well, may, no, my, I, uh, I have just scored a touchdown. Guys that have small dogs, not puppies, small dogs, are my friends, cute, silly, meant not made, meant to be made fun of, or reasonable. Uh, small dogs, so like, uh, and it's not a puppy, it has to be like a chihuahua or something. I think it's silly. I, I'm not going to say I think it's silly. Look in your pants. What do you see? Bikini briefs, my twig and berries, boxer briefs, tidy whities boxers, another man. <laughs> another man. That won't call me by surprise. Um, What I have on right now, well, it's kind of an unfair question. I'm just chilling at home. So I got I got my, um, actually, no, I'm wearing boxer briefs. That's all good. No, I'm wearing tidy whities Fuck that. I'm going to be honest. I don't give a fuck. I'm wearing the tidy whities I, I mean, I usually wear boxer briefs to school and stuff. But, you know, uh, when I'm chilling at home, I like the little, you know, cradle. Of I'm not, I don't need to get into detail. It's disgusting. <laughs> but, um, so where are we at in the gameplay? Just make sure I'm not going crazy right now. All right, so we're only good. All right, we're good. All right, so bed and number question four. Bed and breakfasts are places my girlfriend drags me to, places I would like to own, nice places for an intimate getaway, um, the best places ever, like serving breakfast in bed, I don't get it. I like breakfast in bed, so that's not true. Uh, I wouldn't say they're the best places ever. They are a decent place for an intimate getaway, but I know that's probably the, the gay answer. But places I would like to own, eh, they don't make that much money. Places my girlfriend drags me to, uh, I've never been dragged to a bed and breakfast. I'm going to go with nice places for an intimate getaway. I mean, of course, I'm applying with a woman, but we'll see. Look at your driver's license picture. How do you look? Uh, fabulous, like a criminal in a mugshot. I backed on the eyes, but generally okay, like a woman. Mm. I'm gonna have to go with number three, and this is on my permit since I don't have my driver's license yet. But you know, I think it's pretty much the same thing. At the gym, you mostly hang out in the locker room, try to pick up chicks, use those three-pound weight, <laughs> hang out in the steam room. 
Uh, I just work out. I don't try to hook up with anyone at the lo at the gym because it's at a gym where I don't really know anyone. Uh, I guess that means hang out in the locker room, but I don't use those. I don't, all right, I don't know what to put here. I'm just going to put hang out in the locker room because I'm not sure because there's no option of just working out. Whether you're gay or not depends on your gender identity. What's yours? Male? Male-seeking male? I choose to identify as a female. Well, I'm a male, so I'm going to go with that one. In the past week, which one of these things have you shaved? My chest, my face, my boyfriend's chest, all of the above, none of the above. Oh, um, my face. A little fruit is a good snack. My nickname, a base for most great cocktails. Certainly a base for most great cocktails. Who should have won the uh, Who should have won the Best Actress Oscar in 2006? How could Dame Judi Dench possibly have lost? Damn, I watched, but I forgot who was nominated. The Oscars. Can you bet on those things? Helen Mirren deserved that she played Queen Elizabeth brilliantly. Well, never really none any of these, but I'm pretty sure I watched the Oscars, so it's got to be number two. I watched them, but I forgot. Who is Jack Spade? Isn't that a brand of something? He played third base for the Reds in the 80s. A bag designer. Hello. They make they, they make expensive bags that I can't afford. Uh, I don't know who the hell he is, so I'm just going to say, is it a brand of or something? The reading material in your bathroom is? Um, I don't have any reading material, but I do watch pornography, so I'm going to go with the option that says Playboy. <laughs> Project Runaway is the construction job I'm working on. My favorite show. Something my girlfriend watches. A show that I had promised, but I am over it. Never worked on it, but I'm going to go Project Runaway. Is the construction job I am working on. Because that, I don't know. Alright, so in the gameplay, you see me in my Reaper right now. This is random. You see me in my Reaper just tearing stuff up. Uh, unfortunately, the other team were those guys that take everything down, or else this would have been a way higher kill game. But, you know, what can you do? Alright, anyways, getting back into this test. I just wanted to see what the score was at. What do most of your dates look like? Brad Pitt, I like boyish girls with short hair, sweet and feminine men, curvy and buxom blondes. Huh. They don't look like Brad Pitt. They don't look like boyish girls. They're not sweet and feminine men. And, I mean, I guess I could go with the assumption that I wish that they were all curvy and buxom blondes or boosom. Or see, I don't even know how to pronounce the word, so they're clearly not that. All right, I'm halfway through the test. I'm at number 15. Which one of these jobs sound closest to the one you want? Locker room attendant, event or party planner, truck driver, model, gay porn star. Uh, event or party planner sounds fun. The dress code at your favorite bar is, as long as you have your pants on, you can go in. Fuck yeah, I don't even need to see the other ones. Lego. <laughs> Complete the sentence. I will get married in Massachusetts or Vermont in a lovely ceremony if she gets pregnant. Well... Of course I want a lovely ceremony, but if she gets pregnant, I would too. Um, I'm going to go with a lovely ceremony. Quick, name a Spice Girl. Ah, uh, that hot one, married the soccer dude. Sportsky, what about, uh, eek, I love them. Did you know that they're getting back together? Scary, baby, ginger, posh, and sporty. Uh, don't know, but I know that one of them is hot, so I'm going to go with that one. Your socks usually match your shirt, match your pants, are dirty, match each other. My socks match each other. I got those high Nike socks most of the time. The closet won't hold you forever. How old are you? I am. I'm giving away my birthday. I was born on October 18th. So, right there. Put it in. Would you go back to school to get smarter? Yes, I want to be smarter than friends. No, I'm plenty smart already. Lego. Already smart. Complete your quiz results profile. I don't want to create a freaking pro Oh my god. I'm going to do this right now. Okay, I have to type in my login name, which I don't care about, but I have to make now. Oh, I hate these quizzes. I should have looked farther into it before I did a commentary. Now I just look like an idiot in front of you guys. But I have to get the results. So, as I'm doing that, I guess I will give you guys some tips and tricks about what I did in this gameplay and how it could help you. Um... I was rushing around the MP7 methodically, of course, so that I would be able to get a lot of kills, but, you know, not push up too far using the portable radar to my advantage, um, making sure that all my corners are clear before per, um, moving any farther forward, and just simple things like that. Submit and go to the next page. Okay. And just doing simple things like that to make sure that, um, ooh, don't want to, don't want to, okay. Okay. Your result, you could be gay. Oh my god, are you serious? Which is it, men, women, both? The results are inconclusive here. On one hand, you are someone we could see running out of the closet in full drag doing jazz hands, but then you won't be so out 
of place shotgunning shilts and catcalling at local soccer moms either. You are, you are confused yourself and you have sufficiently confused us. We don't really know what you are. Well, I can tell you what I am, you fucking cunt. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't want to get that crazy. But this thing just said that I was gay, which, you know, or could be gay, which I don't believe to be true based on my past experiences. But, hey, it's a quiz. It's kind of funny, and I'll link you guys to the quiz that I took in the description so that you guys can also take the quiz and see if you could be gay, are gay, or are certainly not gay. So as the gameplay is wrapping up here, I would just like to tell you guys that my videos will be daily now. I have a set schedule for my videos and when I will release them. Uh, it'll probably be at around, you know, later at night, probably around 9 o'clock or, you know, 9.30. Because I don't really like releasing them too early because I'm on my Xbox a lot. And if you guys didn't know this, uploading videos takes away, like, a lot of the bandwidth on my router. So I don't really like uploading it as I'm playing. Uh, that's just my personal, you know, little thing with uploading videos. I think 9 o'clock is a fair thing. You guys are just settling down after dinner, maybe a shower. You go watch my video. It's not a big deal. All right, so the gameplay's wrapping up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you thought it was kind of funny, kind of entertaining. I know it was a long video. That's why I tried to make it as entertaining as possible. And like always, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, final score 59 and 9, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.